Welcome to a lesson on change of basis between two non-standard bases. Let the vectors in set B be an ordered basis for a vector space V, and let the vectors in set C be an ordered basis for a vector space W. To convert a vector from coordinates relative to basis B to coordinates relative to basis C, we use the following formulas. We need to find the transition matrix from B to C, indicated by P sub B to C. We will do this by going through the standard basis, S, the transition matrix from B to C is equal to the product of the transition matrix from S to C and the transition matrix from B to S. The right side is a composition of matrix transformations which are performed from right to left. Notice how first we're converting from basis B to basis S and then basis S to basis C, which does give us a transition matrix from B to C. However, to find the transition matrix from S to C, we'll have to find the inverse of the transition matrix from C to S. So we have the transition matrix from B to C is equal to the inverse of the transition matrix from C to S times the transition matrix from B to S. And the inverse of the transition matrix from C to S is equal to the inverse of the matrix formed using the basis vectors from set C and the transition matrix from B to S is equal to the matrix formed using the basis vectors from set B. So this product does give us the transition matrix from B to C, and therefore we have the coordinates of vector X relative to basis C equals the transition matrix from B to C times the coordinates of vector X relative to basis B. Let's take a look at an example. We are given basis vectors in set B and basis vectors in set C, if the coordinates of vector x relative to basis B are 3, 2, then what are the coordinates of vector x relative to basis C? Well, we know the coordinates of vector x relative to basis C are equal to the transition matrix from B to C times the coordinates of vector x relative to basis B. And the transition matrix from B to C is equal to the inverse of the matrix formed using the basis vectors from set C and therefore the first column is negative five, negative two. The second column is negative two, negative one. Now we need to find the inverse of this matrix and then times the matrix formed using the basis vectors from set B. And therefore the first column is one, negative three, and the second column is zero, one. And then we have times the coordinates of vector X relative to basis B. The next step is to find the inverse of this first two by two matrix which I've already done to save some time. The first row of the inverse matrix is negative one, two, and the second row is two, negative five. This first matrix is the transition matrix from S to C. And the second transition matrix is the transition matrix from B to S. And of course, this last matrix is the coordinates of vector x relative to basis B. So the next step is to multiply the two two by two matrices The entry in row one, column one is negative one times one plus two times negative three, that's negative seven. The entry in row one, column two, is negative one times zero, plus two times one, which is two. The entry in row two, column one, is two times one, plus negative three times negative five, that's 17. And the entry in row two, column two, is two times zero, plus negative five times one, which is negative five. And now for the last product, for the first entry, we have negative seven times three, plus two times two, which is negative 17. And then we have 17 times three plus negative five times two, which is 41. So now we know the coordinates of vector x relative to basis C are negative 17, 41. I hope you found this helpful.